Nickelodeon had reached out to Nelvana saying, as they say every year, we want another SpongeBob. And right. that's what they've been doing for 30 years, wanting another yeah. SpongeBob. And so Todd and I had just had this idea for this show that we wanted to make. So we had done, yeah. we'd been doing, we'd done a write up, we'd developed characters, we'd written premises, we'd, you know, just on our own, we would write and I would share with him and we'd, we'd edit and change, change the work. And, um, so this notice came down from from above that they wanted someone to pitch internally a new show to compete with SpongeBob. Nickelodeon wanted it. So okay. over the weekend, Todd worked and put together this crazy beautiful one sheet with uh, characters and synopsis and everything. It was, it was nice and he had it printed at Staples or whatever Kinkos. It was all nice and glossy. And he showed up to work really early that morning like before <laughs> anybody ready. else and he and he went around with the stack of them and he slid them under all the producers doors and stuffed them in their mailboxes Smart, like the, man. The, right and he just he dropped it all off and at the bottom he, he it had a different name for the company that we had didn't have a company it was just sort of he came up with this other this other name and that was stenciled at the bottom and then yeah mark and todd productions yeah <laughs> <laughs> and, and there was a, original he he just said i think he had a, he'd either said that it was he either gave the extension to the phone for where his desk was on a post yeah, yeah. I don't know how it was. But anyways, by nine o'clock, once everyone was in, he had the first call and oh, we man. got we got called up and they said, we think this is great. We passed it around. We think it's really good. You actually have a call with Nickelodeon. We're going to pitch this to Nickelo Nickelodeon. You've got to come in and, and pitch this. And we're like, well, we've never pitched anything before. Yeah. We, don't know, we don't know what we're doing. Yeah. So we, we're having this discussion and we're saying, and I just... I just remember it, the producer who was there was, was Cynthia Taylor. I don't know if you ever worked with with Cynthia, but I, she, the, she, the rank, the name, the name, the name's but, familiar. Yeah. So it was it was in her office, and she'd said to meet her at a certain time because we we're going to do this call with LA, and it was probably like a, it wasn't the same morning. It might have been a day or so after, but whatever. Anyways, Todd and I are, are walking up to her office. We're going up the stairs, and we're saying to each other, "So what do we do if they are asking for notes and changes and everything?" And we're both like, "Well, we." We understand that they really respect artists who stand up for what they believe in and they want the creators with a strong vision and they really want to do this, want to do that. And we just have to be, so we, we, you know, fist bumped and said, this is what we're going to do. We're going to hold strong. <laughs> we're going to be tough. It. And we go walking into Cynthia's office and we're standing there in front of her desk and she dials up and gets the oh, execs from Nickelodeon so on the phone. So and, nervous. And, and, and we just, uh, and they come on and say, yeah, great guys. We were looking at your, looking at your property and it looks really great. And it sounds really fun. And we like the storylines and everything. We just have a one concern with this, uh, the design of the main character. Um, <laughs> he's a little too yellow and square. <laughs> <laughs> what do you, what do you, you know, we'll need to change that, right? We, yeah. What do you think about changing that? And so Todd and I, like, of course, it's just over the phone. We look at each other and we're like, what are we doing? It's like, no, we got to be strong. Be strong. Oh, so, no. oh so, man. so we said, I love it. We, we really think that this is the character and that's who he's supposed to be. And we're really, we really believe in, in this design. And, and this is really, you know, this is our show and this is what we want to yeah. do. Yeah. And yeah. she said, well, good luck with that then. Thanks oh. guys. Click and hung up the phone. And and oh. Cynthia on the other side of the desk, her eyes were like, "What the what hell happened? did you?" Do? <laughs> and there was no calling them back. There was no getting it back. No. It was dead. It was. It was like it, it was, was very right clear there. that yeah. go after yourself. But, yeah. So we completely screwed ourselves. Holy but that was shit. that was the very first time. And so from then on, we were like, "I think there's a <laughs> yeah. there's a line. There's a wiggle room. Yeah. There's, there's a, a little, little blurry there's, line. There's a little wiggle room. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry." You oh wanted my to God. Think about something completely different. Yeah, we we can do that. So uh, I think I think when they don't know who you are, you uh, when they don't yeah when they don't know who you are, they're less likely to. That's right. If, if you're established, like if yeah, you were then, Stephen Hillenburg, yes. they would just give you whatever. Here, here's some more money. Make another show, exactly. and that's kind of the way it is. So the the biggest thing is to kind of establish yourself and build yep, reputations yep. with networks yep. and broadcasters and streamers yep. and yep. all of that yep. and try and get in.